Hello there YouTube, my name is Walt, or otherwise known as Complete Season. I'm making this commentary to um, help you guys with your After Effects needs. So this is going to be the black cinematic bars uh, effect on any video. And I'm just going to drag in a clip from my other screen right here. Let's see, my 7 minute feed. Let's see if my 7 minute feed, yeah, hold on. Let's just get... Why is it? Hold on. Okay, so whatever. I don't even know if this is a good clip or not, but it's importing. But anyways, um, what you do is you just drag this in like any other After Effects tutorial. This is for beginners, so you can um, figure out what everything is going on. Why did that not work? There we go. So anyways, what you first want to do is you want to hit Layer, New Layer, and you want to make a um, solid object. Make it the comp size. Make it black. And that I'm not sure if that really matters at this point, but make sure it's everything's right there. And um, and if it's you have a different comp size, just click the comp make comp size button. Search in the effects and presets button, uh, grid, and you should see generate grid. And then just um, click and drag that onto the um, the black solid. And you can rename this whatever you want. I'm gonna rename it um, cinematic uh, bl black bars. And there we go. And now all we do is you just make it uh, heights and width sliders. When you make the uh, first of all, make this the center um, line up. Make that go to the very bottom. Line it up with this, and then just boost up the width like as much as possible, so you don't see any of those, none of them. Like 2,000 is good. And the height has to be exactly. I think it's 7 100, uh, 712, and that makes it so it's exactly the height of it. And what you the cool thing about this in is you have to also wait, hold on, make it color is black. Cool thing about this is that you can make it uh keyframes wherever you want and border, make it one twenty. That's probably a good size. And see how it has this black bar right here? What you can do is you can just uh click on this uh corner that you put in over here and if it hold shift down so it goes straight out and just slide it out as like far as you want, but make sure it doesn't come out onto the left side either. And hold on, let me Check this real quick. Uh, it doesn't have black bars on the side. And um, but yeah, that's basically all you have to do. And then let's say if I want to, I go along, and then I get my first kill like right here. And right here, I want to like start um, zooming in or something. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit more. And in here, effects hit the E button and it br uh, brings up grid. It's a little bit more clean than normally. And um, what you can do is then you can sh uh, hit the border button. It just shows the all the keyframes on the beginning. If you have this button clicked, if you don't, then it will. You have to do it by yourself. But um, let's say I wanted to start like zooming in right here, and then I will put click the keyframe button, go over it a couple frames where I get the kill, and then put another keyframe. So this keyframe is gonna be like bam like like that or so and then it's gonna like it's gonna go out quickly so then that's 120 and bam so then you have a cool little piece right here when you pre-render this and it's gonna should take not that long but and when you pre-render stuff just hit a half resolution and skip like two frames or five frames it doesn't really matter and um as you can see little spray there, but that's not the best part of the clip. It just goes over here and it goes bam, 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 and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, then please leave a comment and be like, oh, I like this video, but please be a little bit more descriptive or something like that. I don't even know. Just leave a comment about how your day was. I don't even care. Um, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to be starting to make more of these tutorials and stuff, and as always, stay easy and have a nice day.